Hi. Wow, it's so... Mm. Hello. Uh, this is my boyfriend, Chris Gaskin, the comedian. Hello. Hi. Hi, neo -cinific. Um, We might post this on YouTube. If we do, then we'll be talking. This is a Periscope broadcast. Hi. So, um, this is a Periscope broadcast. <laughs> so, we'll be talking to people on the screen. Um, hi. Thank you for all. Look at those hearts. It's crazy. You must just have your finger right on the screen constantly. That's awesome. Thank you. Hi. Hi, everybody. Alan M. Bernard. Hey, that's similar to my name. Yeah. I'm, I'm Marie Bernard. No R, though. People always make make that mistake. Yeah. Yeah. I should have worn more makeup for this video. Anyway, so we're just wondering. Um, I have a YouTube channel, and so does Chris. Mm -hmm. And we want to make videos for you. Um, but yeah. we don't know. Like, we want to know what your interests are. I'm... I do like self-help, psychology, dating, love advice and stuff. And Chris does. I just rant. I just. He just that's, does rants. Yeah. Ang yeah. Angry men. Yeah. Angry rants. Uh, he's a comedian. Angry Stand rants. Comedian. Uh, Sexual. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, five, five, Kenan. I don't think that would be cool on uh, you as a YouTube video. No, probably not. There's no. another you, yeah, you porn or something. Isn't that the channel? No, we are not going to do that. No. no, sorry, but thanks for the suggestion. <laughs> what other <laughs> videos aside from that? It is dark in here. We are in bed, so I can see why people might suggest yeah. that. I mean, it would be really easy to just like. Don't worry, I've that, also been want. trying to suggest it, but yeah, but we're not going to do that. She put right the now. Mix. If we oh, right do, now. if <laughs> I don't think that's what you. If, mean. if we do, we won't put. It'll be private. Yeah. For you. Who? Maybe. For you. For me. Both of us. Birthday. We'll see. Uh -oh. Yeah, but no, it wouldn't be. <laughs> it wouldn't be public. Um. Hi, Hank's house. Hello. So we're just wondering what kind of videos, because we um, if you're just joining, um. Chris Gaskin is a stand-up comedian here in Vancouver, mm -hmm. Canada, which is where we are. And um, <laughs> sex, sex, sex is the uh, the suggestion. Um, there, is that sexy enough for you? No, probably no, not. I think he's going away now. Right. He's like, ah, oh, screw this. I'm out of here. It's not happening. Aww. Mm -hmm. um, so Chris Gaskin is a stand-up mm -hmm. comedian, and I do... Um, a show, a radio show where I interview psychologists, yeah. authors, coaches, basically people that help you have a better, more happy life. Um, talk a lot about relationships and dating and love and stuff. And we talk about sex. Uh, yeah, look at that, the little bikini emoticons. <laughs> I'm not wearing a bikini. No. No. Neither am I, so. <gasps> Good. Yeah. I don't wear bikinis. Oh, Okay. Ah, uh, so um, Neo Cinefic, if I'm saying that right, just likes likes videos of us just chilling, mm -hmm. chilling out, max and relaxing, <laughs> all cool. I always say that because I'm a super dork. Yeah, I can't. Yeah, but how it. can you not? How can you not talk about shooting fresh some b-ball yeah. outside of the school? Yeah. yeah. Did oh, that reminds fresh me friends. of that of. <laughs> That reminds me of that video you showed with there. There was like a religious TV show, and someone yeah. kept emailing in his story, and it was totally the story of the Fresh Prince, Prince of Bel Air. Bel -Air. Oh, it's fantastic! <laughs> and it's so they start at first, they're giving him like legitimate advice, and then they finally yeah. realize what it is, and then they get all angry. You should Google it. What What is that video? Uh, I I don't know. It's just like uh, Fresh Prince emails into Televangelist or something like that. Yeah, you look it up. They get so angry, and it's, it's just so great. It's really entertaining. Uh, yeah, it's so funny. It's really funny. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you got to give it up with the with the sex requests. Um, I'm I'm starting to get the no feeling a little bit there. <laughs> yeah, don't don't ruin it for me. Oh, what's ch what's your YouTube channel, Chris? Uh, uh, Chris Gaskin Comedy. Yeah, YouTube.com forward slash Chris Gaskin Comedy. Yeah. yeah. He's funny. Sometimes. He just had Sometimes. a stand-up show tonight, and tonight. I did. 
I video I video recorded some of it, but oh. I didn't get the first couple of minutes. So. Oh, that's okay. That's... Yeah, which was the best. When you were talking about your grandparents, um, his grandparents just bought phones. Yeah, and they they're not very not... technological. Yeah, Chris yeah. Gaskin comedy. Cool. They went out to buy the phones without me, and I was like, "That is a mistake." Yeah, and they got the wrong phone. Yeah, and then yeah, hold on. What would they do without you? <laughs> Fixing their computers and stuff. Yeah, all the time. and then and then they blame the Asians. Oh, don't <laughs> say that. We don't want to. Old people? Uh, is it is it ageist uh, to say that old people are can be racist? Not all old people no. are racist, but many... no, because you're saying old people can be racist, just like young people can be racist. That's just true. Like... But is it more? I mean, my mom was old and she wasn't racist. She was very like conscientious about teaching me not to be racist or homophobic yeah. or anything. even though she was like super catholic even she even that she was not like homophobic or anything yeah um yeah anyway hi more people have come neo cinefic is back it looks like he was gone for a bit i guess we couldn't hold his attention <laughs> the lack of sex in this video <laughs> seems to be um a problem for some people they have to leave and look at a sex video and then come back to join us is, is that, that what song? people are doing on i think that's what it i think it's true yes that i was watching some girls on periscope the other night two girls that, that were drunk i think probably oh and there were a lot of requests for nudity and stuff and yeah oh oh mm -hmm. he ran out because you can only give a certain amount of hearts so he left oh. and came back oh that's so sweet show i keep i'm still learning this is my new iphone are you, are you able to like click that block him yeah we're not are we gonna block him he's a viewer yeah. we only have 10 viewers it's <laughs> <laughs> a fair point <laughs> oh we have 11 viewers now you're kicked out because we have an extra. <laughs> as long as we're in double digits uh look at all the hearts he's giving us so what kind of shows like if you okay maybe if you, you don't like comedy or you don't like psychology and self-help because i'm totally into the self-help stuff yeah. and dating and relationships which is good and you you do such a good job with that stuff he totally humors me and puts up with it and listens to all of the dating stuff that i force down his throat it's true it's true and then he but he actually he does it he's yeah. so good You're wonderful yeah mm. oh thank you mm. neo Sinific says we are awesome i hope i'm saying that right I think it's neosnific. Neosnific? Yeah. Or, no, it was sin. I think you're right. Yes, neosnific. Significant, yeah. 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 We can click there. We can. I think I'm already following him. Yay! Thank you. Oh, Marie said it right. Yeah. What else I'm is right. new? I'm right. What you're else wrong. is new? Yeah. No, I'm kidding. Let's see. I like to pick. That's what I learned on. That's what I learned about relationships. The woman is always right. Yeah, that's an important yeah. piece of information. That is I'm always that wrong. is a legitimate piece of dating advice. Yes. In fact, when I'm right, I'm more wrong because now she's wrong. That's how yeah. it works. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. um, I need a selfie stick. I hate to say this because <laughs> my arm's getting tired. Okay, can I trust you not to? Yeah. I'm covering myself with the covers You can now. trust me. <laughs> oh, I trust uh, I trust you with a lot of things. As but... <laughs> far as you can throw me. That's... Uh... Selfie stick works good for scoping. Thank you for the tip, Neo Cinefic. Yeah, I think I'm going to get one. They're, they're coming down in price. When they first came out, yeah. they were like 50 bucks or something. And... I thought, oh my God, only a complete narcissist would want a selfie stick. But I guess I'm a narcissist now because I want a selfie stick. It's a lot of people in Vancouver have selfie sticks. Yes. Yeah. Well, then you get the whole family because you just, you know. I, you know selfie. what? I think it makes sense for something like this. Five bucks? At Marshall's. At Marshall's in Bellingham. That's almost worth going across the border for. You live just in Bellingham? Is, is there a Marshall's? around here or is it just in oh um mm, there is that like tj max and marshall's are they the same because there's something mm -hmm. like that um might be by um 
Canadian like, Tire on Southwest Marine oh, okay. Drive. I know when you're from out in Toronto, there's one in Duffer Mall, but I never go to it. I, think I don't even one. know what it is. Is it like Winners or something? I think it's, yeah, it's like Ross or Winners, but they ran out recently due to Christmas shopping. Ah, oh, right. that makes sense. Yes. Yeah. Well, there's also Winners. We could just like, oh, you're in Richmond, BC. Oh my gosh. I didn't know that. Yay, we're in Vancouver. Yeah. And he lives in Richmond, this yeah. guy. Maybe you know this guy. Maybe he's your neighbor. Who knows? Who knows? Richmond has a lot of people. Yeah. Yeah. Yay! That's so exciting. I like Richmond. It's very walkable. Not a lot of hills. Is, I, is that lazy? Yeah. Yeah, it's <laughs> lazy. And I don't care. I like the hills in Vancouver. It's They're good. No. It's good. Yeah. It's good exercise. Yeah. Uh, exercise. Yeah. Okay. We're going to work. But like the river, yes. The river in Richmond is very nice. Cool. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. I like the ocean better. But it's a lot cheaper to be at the river than it is yeah. at the ocean in Vancouver. I like four walls around me. Astrology. You like shows about astrology. You could do some shows about astrology. I mean, I don't really... I I used to do a lot of spirituality stuff and I covered more astrology and psychic stuff back then. Now I do more psychology, but I could do like an astrology episode. You could. I'm, I'm too cynical to. There is a Vedic astrologer who does like relationship stuff and she is an astrologer to the stars, like celebrities in LA. And my girlfriend who lives in LA hired her and she swears by her. And she's always giving me like astrological advice that I think I don't really believe in astrology, but um, it's always interesting because, yeah. you know, it's like they tell you about yourself and everyone likes to hear about themselves, don't they? Yeah, I guess so. But yeah. it's, I don't know. I always see it as like, you could just say the same thing for everyone, but that's my cynical viewpoint. Yeah, you're cynical. He's cynical. Very much so. <laughs> Neo Cynific has got to go back to get more hearts. Yay! Yay, welcome back. Um, what about the rest of you watching? What do you what kind of videos would you like to see on this account, on this channel? Yeah. Um Yeah. And on the YouTube channel or Periscope, which Periscope, I'm Marie Bernard on Periscope. You're not on Periscope yet, are you? My phone is a hunk of crap that can't run Periscope. Oh, yeah, yeah. You need an iPhone. I tried. I, I loaded it up. Like, I got it onto my phone, but I, it won't even, like, load up the app. Oh, bummer. Yeah. Well, my, that other phone I was going to give you, um, yeah, get a new phone. You, I've been telling this guy for ages to get a new phone. If you can convince him to get a new phone, you get a prize. Hey, I've actually sort. been looking into getting a new phone, all right? So don't. <laughs> Okay. Um, yeah, but, but it would be, it's Chris, would be Chris Gaskin on Paris cause you're Chris Gaskin on Twitter. Yeah. Yeah. So you can follow him on Twitter and then eventually he'll get around to, um, I think you can do it on your, you can probably do it on your surface. I'll have to look at the yeah. app store. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yay. So what? Cause he does comedy videos and that would be actually really fun cause you can get Wi-Fi. Mm -hmm. at the comedy club and then just do periscopes with your crazy comedy buddies a, a few places i mean the the wi-fi at yucks is kind of spotty at best yeah but yeah do you or you could convince me yeah, yeah. see so your arm Thank you. your arms are getting sore um and i wanted some of these oh he eats blueberries He's got frozen blueberries and milk yeah it's, we're addicted to berries Cause they get all, it gets all stuck to the blue, the frozen blueberries. Mm -hmm. The milk like freezes around the blueberries. That is a really good idea. Neo Cinefix says maybe combine comedy and relationship advice in a video. Mm -hmm. Our relationship is quite comedic, comedic, I think. Yeah. Can Cause be. we're ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think it'd probably be more entertaining to outsiders to see us freak out on each other. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I don't like, think it's the most entertaining for That's us. not for us, but it'd be like, 
That woman is crazy, and I don't know why he puts up with her. Oh, I've got reasons. Ah. Aw, thank you. <laughs> Neo Cinefix says we're adorable. We are adorable. Yeah. Are we go is that conceited to say we're adorable? I yes. think he's adorable. I think you're adorable. Yeah, we're adorable. Yeah. Yeah. I'm lucky to have him. He's a pain in the ass, but so am I. So it's a, it kind of balances I'm out. I'm lucky to have you. Oh, you're so much nicer than I am. I call you a pain in the ass and he, you're like, oh, I'm lucky to have you. Oh, no, you're a pain in the ass too. But yeah, but it's okay. We're, we both are. We both are. Yeah. But what else? Okay, so that's a, a really great idea. I'm glad we um, yeah. signed on tonight because the comedy relationship advice together. Yeah, I totally need a selfie stick. <laughs> um, that's a good idea. Yeah. I like it. I don't know how. So would he write like a comedy bit? He's got lots of comedy and I'm trying to, I keep saying I'm going to do the three minute comedy spot at, at Kino Cafe for beginners. That's my Ke favorite show. That's where we were at tonight. Um, Kino Cafe on Camby in Vancouver. Camby in 19th. Yeah. The flamenco Wednesdays through Saturdays. Yeah. But on Tuesday nights, comedy. it starts about 930, right? They have 930, comedy. 945. Yeah. It's somewhere around there, yeah. Um, they have comedy. Yeah, I have to get a selfie stick for sure. Um, yay. And um, sorry, I'm trying to like, it's better like this. Yeah. But then my arm gets tired. So it's a way better view. Yeah. Um, anyway, <laughs> what were we talking about? Oh, yeah. So I keep saying yeah. I'm going to do the three minute comedy spot at Kino Cafe on Tuesdays. But I have these ideas that, for things that would be funny. But you, comedy, stand-up comedy is so much different than just talking with your friends and saying something funny. Because you have, like, this much time and you have to make people laugh and they don't have any context of your life. Well, Brian Regan said it's all the setup. The setup. Yeah. He's giving, he's giving so, away comedy tips right now. Brian Regan is, like, one of the best comics working right now. He works really clean. But, I mean, that doesn't so no matter. He's, no, but he's crazy funny. It doesn't... I don't care if he swears or not. I don't... You know? Will Smith but, didn't swear, did he? And Ellen DeGeneres. Oh, Will Smith did. Didn't he? He didn't do stand-up, but, I mean... He oh, he did the rap. Did, yeah. That's why. Okay, yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> Ellen but, DeGeneres didn't swear, right? Um, I don't know. But it's, it's like... Um, Seinfeld swore here and there. Did he? Yeah. Oh. Once in a while. Well, I mean, yeah, once a, oh. a well-timed F-bomb yes. can be very effective. I don't think Seinfeld ever hit an F-bomb. No. But, but like a well-timed curse word? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, and it's like you you could take an audience anywhere. If you take an audience somewhere for 40 minutes without dropping an F-bomb and then dropping an F-bomb, like it just means that much more, too. Mm -hmm. um, but Brian Regan said it's all... It's all the setup because, you know, people don't know my friends, Steve and Joe. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's like, if, if I use, uh, you know, I, with yeah, my friend Steve and Joe, joke. any yeah. joke is just an inside joke. They already have the setup because. Because of the contact. They already yeah. know everything. So in stand-up comedy, you have to paint a good enough picture that the crowd gets it before you can actually do punchlines. Yes. And I, and, and you have to do it succinctly. Yes. In like 30 seconds or less, right? Mm -hmm. Basically. So, and I'm not very succinct, although neither are you and you write well, yeah. you do like his stand-up is great, practice. but when we're just talking, it's like. <laughs> Neither one of us can get to the point, right? It's like, where is this? Where is the point in this? It's not just you. Am I insulting you? Right no, I'm a okay. great raconteur. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Um. Anyway, getting to the point, it, you yeah. have to get to the point in stand-up comedy. So I got to work. But it would probably be a good skill for my show to get to the point quicker, mm -hmm. too. So, yeah, I love that idea. So, um, that was comedy and relationship yeah. advice c combined. I like that idea. Yeah. 
would it be just like, because it's my channel is the dating advice. Mm -hmm. Would it be just me doing like comedic da dating advice or the both of us together? He doesn't like doing role plays. That's debatable. Well, I mean on camera. Oh, okay. It's yeah. <laughs> I don't Behind closed doors is a completely different <laughs> subject. <laughs> but like we did one dating advice video and I threw in a little role play and Yeah, she you, was like you went along with it. Yeah, but in my head the entire time I was like, I fucking hate the I don't role like role plays. I hate the role play stuff. It's dumb. Yeah, a bit of yeah. comedy but with real advice. Yeah. yeah. Cool. I think it could be something that could help uh Maybe our writing together. Are we going to write like, together? Yeah. Why not? Because then you could take the idea for the advice, you know. Mini skits. Well, that's Maybe just the same skits. as role playing. That's like. Well, uh, we'll figure yeah, it out. Yeah. We'll try think, a few different things. I think things. that's something to try out. Absolutely. Yeah. We'll try out a few things and see what people like. Yeah. I like it. Oh, that's so nice. Thank you, Neo Cinefic. With all the hearts, he's just going crazy with the <laughs> hearts. Does your finger not get tired of tapping on the screen? <laughs> it, he'd be really good at like button mashing video games. Oh, like we've been playing that game, The Walking Dead. The Walking Dead, and you don't have to do too much in it, but every once in a while, there's a fight scene, and you have to push A like super fast, like that. You'd be really good at that. Yeah. Do you play video games, Neo Cinefic? I'm guessing with that finger, that trigger finger, <laughs> he does. And I'm wondering if there's anyone else there. What if, if it weren't for you, he plays some. If it weren't for Neo Cinefic on this chat, we'd be talking to ourselves. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. But we're pretty good at that. Well, yeah, but other people might not want to watch that. I don't uh, know. Which games do you game? He's big not that well yeah I, okay I well compared to me i don't spend as much that's that's the thing now that you have, have a lot of time but even then even before then like diablo 3 okay cool i mean that's uh, i can't get into that type of game but i totally understand why someone would what where and is diablo 3 it's it's like a dungeon crawler like top down you click where your guy goes how would that how would i know what that means dungeon crawler <laughs> top down I'm like speaking scientific yes, terms to you you know what he's talking about i have no clue half the time he talks about wrestling i don't know anything about wrestling and movies yeah. he'll be like oh who's that actor we were talking about today alan rickman alan rickman i'm like i don't know who that is i love alan and then rickman. he tells me and that's the guy who plays the snapey sn snape yes snape. plays snape in the... snape in harry potter harry potter and i know that guy but but he um, was the villain in the first die hard movie yeah oh and then we're gonna watch die hard on christmas day yes because that's his christmas tradition yeah is to watch Bad Santa at midnight. Yep. And then at noon, we're going to watch Die Hard. Yeah. And this is the, this is a first for me. Yeah. So I'm joining his tradition. His and Christmas we'll make tradition. our own tradition as well. Yeah. Yeah. What time is it? It's past our bedtime. Scrooge is a good Christmas movie too. That's that um, Bill, Bill yeah, Murray? Yeah, this is Bill Murray one. I think that one's okay. Um I knew an actor in a movie, and you didn't even have to tell me. Yeah. Aren't you super impressed? Yeah. Yeah. I don't normally know. He's the one who knows all it, If, I mean, as far as Bill Murray movies go, it's like, uh, there's a lot of really good ones. But yeah. I, I think it's like, my two favorites are... Uh, uh, here's my favorites is uh, Groundhog Day. Oh, that's a good one. Groundhog Day. Groundhog Day. Okay, I get it. Groundhog Day. <laughs> <laughs> if you say it again. <laughs> Christmas Vacation. Groundhog Day. <laughs> This is what I have uh, to deal with. Do you Ghost, see? Ghostbusters, Groundhog what Day. What about Christmas um, Vacation? Well, that's not Bill Murray, but Isn't I like it? Christmas Vacation. Oh. Oh, that's Chevy Chase. Oh, okay. Aren't they the same person? 
No. Well, they both have brown hair. They look kind yep. of similar to one's, me. One's really cool, and the other is apparently like a huge dick to everyone. And you're not going to say who's who? Oh, Chevy Chase is the one who's apparently a huge dick. Like, oh, really? no one wanted to do his roast. You know this is on video forever. That's why I said apparently, because that's what I heard, apparently. Apparently? Yeah. But what if you get have to do a show with him? What if you get asked to open for him one day, and he's like, I heard Chris Gaskin said that apparently I'm a dick. And because I'm a dick, I'm going to not let him do my show. See, that could come back to haunt you. Yeah. I didn't see what you just wrote. Sorry, you said on Periscope, but there was something 24 else. Twenty-four hours on Periscope. Oh, but we might post it yeah. on on YouTube. Maybe I won't because because we're bad mouthing people. <laughs> I don't want to bad mouth people. I want to be a nice girl. I'm not trying to bad mouth him. I, I like know. him. I think he's really You're just, fun. This is what you've heard. Yeah, it's just what I've heard. Yeah. Yeah. Well, if I talked about all the people that i've heard were dicks well, this video would be eight this video hours would be long. 24 hours long that's <laughs> but <laughs> you can use catch me to keep your scopes indefinitely what is catch dot me it's now, a website i'll have to learn all about that well because it's on like this video stays on my phone which was what I was going to upload onto YouTube. Oh. But all the pretty hearts and comments don't. Website catch me. Mm -hmm. So all the hearts and comments and people signing in and stuff, that doesn't get saved um, on my phone. But it's kind of dark in here. Okay. I'm getting tired. I have to invest in a selfie stick. Yeah. Yeah. So we should probably sign off. Yep. Neo Cinefic, is there anything else you want us to talk about or I want to say before we say goodnight? I'm so happy he lives in Richmond. That's so cool. I think he disappeared. Oh, maybe he ran out of hearts. <laughs> ran out of hearts. <laughs> it was fun talking to you too. Yeah. Thank you for the chat. We'll probably see you again. Good night. Thanks for all the hearts. Good night. Yeah. Okay. All right.